You're giving business casual a show before a live studio audience. <laughs> What's up, you good players? It's the RJBs here coming at you with the stupid deck of the month for April. I realize that it's a day late, but hey, I got it to you. Uh, today, our deck is brought to you by our very own Vanilla Bryce. What do you have for us? Today, I have my own variation of Crystal Beasts. I'm calling it Crystal Light. It uses a Light Sworn engine to mill through your deck so that you can quickly spam Rainbow Dragon to the field. I realize this is a completely flawed idea, but it's not meant to be competitive at all. For monster lineup, I am running two Crystal Beast Emerald Tortoise, two Crystal Beast Topaz Tigers, one Amber Mammoth, one Cobalt Eagle, one Ruby Carbuncle, one Amethyst Cat, and three Crystal Beast Sapphire Pegasus. All right, talk to me about your Crystal Beast lineup. Um, I'll choose the numbers that you did. Sapphire. Uh, Sapphire Beast Crystal Pegasus, I'm running at 3 because it searches out your Crystal Beast, making it, you know, a controlled search. You guarantee what you get into your field. Um, Emerald Tortoise is a 2,000 wall, so I'm running two of its. Topaz Tiger can attack for 2,000 without the effect of Crystal Release being added onto it. Uh, so you can, you know, kind of get rid of some monsters in there. Everything else... Um, just doesn't seem as useful for getting Rainbow Dragon to the field or staying on the field. Like Amethyst Cat can just attack over your opponent's monsters. Um, not really that useful to me, at least. Um, other people might have different opinions on that. Uh, Ruby Carbuncle, I might bump up to two simply so I can um, special summon multiple monsters from my back row to Xyz into something that I can quickly pitch material from. Um, but other than that, I really don't care for uh, Cobalt Eagle or Amber Mammoth, so that's just personal opinion for running those at one. All right, talk to me about the important part of your deck. The important part of my deck. I'm running three Rainbow Dragons, and if any of you can actually see this, you might notice that it's actually two Rainbow Dark Dragon. Those are proxies for right now. Um, three of these, simply because of the Light Sworn milling effect, I need to you know, have the best chance to get these to my hand, so I'm running three. Um, onto the Light Sworn engine, I am running three Lila and two Raikou. Um, the reason I'm running this is because this is what I originally thought the Light Sworn engine was. Well, this plus um, Charge of the Light Brigade. Apparently, it's the other way around triple Raikou, two Lila. I'm just leaving it as is because what the heck. Uh, spell lineup. I am running triple Ancient City Rainbow Ruins because it's how you keep shit from happening, honestly. <laughs> I'm running one terraforming Truth because, so. well, I only had one on me when I built the deck. Again, spell and trap lineup. My weakest point of building a deck. Um, I'm running two rare value for extra draw power. Crystal Promise, so if Ruby Carbuncle is ever in the back row, I can easily spam it to the field and get a special summon. Crystal Beacon at 2. Um, I'm debating on running that at 3, but right now, again, Spell and Trap lineup. I have you know, don't know what I'm doing here. Uh, Crystal Blessing at 2. Again, same thing as Crystal Beacon. Want to run at 3. Don't have a third one right now. Crystal Release, um, running that at 3 because of the 800 attack power, plus it's kind of a Sapphire Pegasus when your monster is destroyed. Uh, one Charge of the Light Brigade, as I mentioned earlier when talking about the Light Swarms. Is this card limited right now? Yeah. Or, okay, so. Are you kidding me? <laughs> I don't know. I don't check the ban list. Very casual player here, all right? Okay. <laughs> um, Foolish Burial, again, controlled mill if you need that one card in your grave to bust out your Rainbow Dragons. That's why I'm running that. Uh, two MSTs, completely useless right now because of the triple Lila, but again, and then Heavy Storm and Dark Hole. All right, looks like a fantastically awful deck. Looks like great fun, though. Thank you for the deck profile, Vanilla Bryce, and of course I have to do the awkward thing that I always do where I restart my computer before I let you guys go. So I will see y'all later in my next video, probably tomorrow, I believe, and I got a jet. See y'all.